Tenda fans, this is Paul, one of the techs from Micro Center, and today we're going to take a look at one of the other Tenda routers that we're featuring. This is model F303. It's a N300 easy setup router, and today we're going to take a look at the basic setup of the router. Let's get started. Okay, so the first step is to go ahead and plug the AC power in. Plug that in right there. Next step, you want to take the Ethernet cable that is now currently running from your modem, from your ISP, to your computer and you want to plug it into the blue port. One of the ports is always going to be a different color and as you can see this very first one is WAN for Wide Area Network so we plug that in and that's like I said that's coming from your ISP modem. So then you want to take another Ethernet cable and plug it into any of the other ports and then the other end of that Ethernet cable is plugging into the back of your computer into the Ethernet port Alright, so the next step takes place inside the computer, so let's go on in there now. Alright, so once all the hardware is set up, we want to go ahead and install the, uh, the software. Let's go ahead and put the disk in that came with the router. Autoplay prompt comes up, click on run setup.exe. Click on configure, and what this does is it's going out, getting your IP address. So what this has brought us to is the login for your router. The username and the password is both admin, so go ahead and type that in, hit OK. DHCP is what we want and that means that your IP address is dynamic which means it, it gets changed by your ISP. The other way you would have it would be if it's a, uh, a static IP address but that would typically be something you would be paying extra for and you would typically have a reason to do that so I would say commonly most people are going to have DHCP so make sure DHCP is selected this is actually the uh, the password to the router to log into the router which is one two three four five six seven eight that's to join your network so what this has done this this has gone ahead and connected us and it's taken us right into the setup what you want to do is hit refresh okay now once this is all filled out you are on the internet at this point go ahead and open a window just to show you okay so what we can do here Here's our here's our router wirelessly. We can just go ahead and connect to that. Okay, so just going through a few of these setups, we'll go into wireless and look at a few. The, this is the the name of your network. You can change this if you want. You can turn on or off wireless. You can use this as a access point or in bridge mode. Here you can tell it if you want mixed mode, or or just one or the other of the uh, wireless types that it presents. SSID broadcast means it's broadcasting the name of your network. You can turn that on or off. If you know the name of your network, then then I suppose there's no need to have it broadcast. But if you have guests and you're expecting them to join your network, this makes it a little simpler for them. Here's the channel selection. Sometimes if you have lots of other routers in the area, you may want to change the change the channel it's on to a less used channel, which uh, may improve performance. Okay, and then under security, this is the SSID. This is where you would change that. This is also where you would change the password, which we did a whole video on. All right, so that's the basic setup of the Tenda F303 router. If you have any other questions, come visit us at www.microcentertech.com or visit our no-wait chat service at chat.microcentertech.com.